Hello, welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. Today I'm doing an update on my N. Brashardi tank. I, uh, once again, um, after about almost two months, was surprised yesterday when I looked at my tank and I saw another 40, 50 fry. And I just had fry uh, with this pair of fish about, like I said, about, yeah, almost two months ago. So here we are. Um, <laughs> now there's about 70 fish in here. Uh, but here's the fry that I just noticed yesterday. And then there's a the little fry from about two months ago. You can see them in there protecting the new fry. And then you can see the parents right there. And they're just kind of looking at me like, all right, buddy, that's as close as you're going to get. But, <laughs> these fish or something else. I guess they're really happy in their aquarium there. Um, I would attribute this to this rock right here. Um, it's like a little cave and they can go in it from about probably a dozen different locations. Um, on the sides, in the back, in the front, on the bottoms. So I, I think that's the major contributing the major factor here that can be uh, attributed to the success of this fry. Um, of course, I'm sure people have been successful with their uh, amateur shardy and different aquarium sizes and um, different layouts, but um, it seems to be working. 29 gallon, plenty of little hiding spots. Um, I did have to relocate my filter, my uh, hang in the back, removal C4, um, as you can see, she had her fry over here, and right where the heater is, was the hang down for the C4 approval, and I just didn't want to take any chances, and who knows, I may have already lost one or two, um, due to the location of it. Filter. So, uh, yeah, I had to move it to the other side of the tank. So, here we go. 29 gallon current and about 50 fish, 60, maybe 70. Um, and, like I said, just to do a recap, now just kind of let the camera run and let you guys enjoy these. Um, there's the parents right there. Papa right there on top. The larger of the two, mama, right down there. Their first batch of fry, you can see you. right here. There's about 20 plus of them all over the tank, and they're just being their guards. And then trolling, and then there's the newest batch of fry. And they're all over the place. But primarily concentrated here.
fish are such beautiful fish. Got like this really light pink hue. And the mama is just, she's crazy. I don't really know what it is she's doing, but every once in a while she just randomly charges, uh, I think, one of her to fry. And either she's hurting it or yelling at it or something. I can't quite figure out just what it is she's doing when she makes these mad dashes. Pop is pretty chill for the most part, but uh, Mama's a spaz for sure. And I guess she's corralling her two-month-old cry. For what purpose, I'm not certain. It's only a 29-gallon tank, so. And the fry that are, like I said, about two months old, they, um, that's just moss right there growing. Um, I clean that off about once every week and a half. And since they just had babies, I'm not going to do a water change right away. I'm probably going to add some more water though. Um, like I said um, in previous videos, I don't like to do big water changes on this tank. And when I do, I try to be as extremely sensitive to the temperature and the pH as possible because um, these fish are supposedly hypersensitive to water changes um, being tanganic and cichlids I, I believe it Weird. I, I hope she's okay. She's. I've never seen her flash before like that. But as you notice there, she, she's just flashing. I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, her being a spaz. I've never noticed either one of these two fish flashing like that. Um, I hope it's nothing. Just a, a random, you know, flashing. As opposed to flashing because. Of some onset of a, you know, a disease or a um, parasite or something. I uh, don't know how that would be possible as I try to keep the stress in here to an absolute minimum. So, and of course, there have been no new additions uh, to this fish uh, tank. And there she goes, moving stuff around. Always moving around rocks that seem to be about an eighth of the size of her body. Well, that's it everybody. Once again, thanks for tuning in. And until next time.